All right, hey guys. Uh, today I'm gonna to actually go through the uh, motor control circuit and do a couple of the troubleshooting uh, skills tests on that one, all right? All right, so let's start. All right, their garage door won't close. So let's go in out. We're just gonna go through it. So the close, but I have to hold it down. <clears throat> Open will go all the way open. So, thinking about that circuit, what do you think is the problem or has part of the, it can be the problem? Of course, it's going to be in the down contactor side, but it's probably going to be the, let's look at our schematic diagram, have it ready. Just gonna kind of minimize it as much as possible. All right, the best way to do this actually is to print out, if you can, these schematics, that way you have them. Um, and it's also the same every time for each of the motor control. All right, so let's look at it. Here's the down button. So the down button, as you can see, comes off the stop, stop powers in to either to the up or the down. And through the down, it goes to C2. <clears throat> All right, C2 will drive it down. Now, <coughs> the only thing is, if you look at C, what holds it in when you push it is C2 contact here. Okay. So, that's between nine and 10. So my guess is probably an auxiliary contact right here or a bad connection as you should know. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and lock it out because I'm gonna do this with a meter, ohm meter. All right. So let's grab a meter. Reason why is, you know, you can test here at this point to see if you're getting power through it. But as long as you're holding it down, guess what? You're going to get power at this point. So the best way to do is just check to see if this opens and closes correctly. All right. So let's take our screwdriver and we're going to go in. Did I verify dead? I'm going to verify it just so I don't get... Um, ripped for that. So between nine and 10 on C2, I'm gonna disconnect here. Oh, look at that, terminal seems to be loose. Do you want to tighten it or disconnect? Let's go ahead and disconnect and we're gonna check resistance between nine and 10. Now, you can actually on this contactor, you can press that little red, that's the plunger, that's the the solenoid that slides in and out and makes those contacts. So if I push it, I should get zero there. All right, as you can see there, it changes to zero. So that contact's good. So to tell you the truth, most likely is where I hit that switch. I, I loosened it up there or it was loose. And when I hit it, it said, do you tighten? So that's got to be the problem. So let's go back, we'll go back and check everything and we'll run it through the scenario. Let's remove our lock, power it on, kill them, we'll just close those. And let's hit the down. And guess what? That was it. Make sure it goes all the way down. All right, let's make sure it goes all the way up. All right, I'm gonna do down again to make sure my safety switch works. Right there. Yep, it makes it goes back and go back up. Okay. So everything looks good to me. So I'm gonna hit exit. 
and it should tell me uh, past. Oops. I'm not on my regular Wi-Fi, so it's taking a minute. Okay, repaired. All right, now my time. <clears throat> Open too many enclosures. <laughs> Looking around, I don't know why, whatever. Okay, so I completed. Now let's uh, let's go to intermediate and let's do an intermediate. Their electric door stopped all of a sudden. All right, let's see, up, down, nothing, right? <clears throat> so, Let's take a look. Let's look at our disconnect, make sure we're still on. Yep. Now let's take a look at, let's get our schematic out. So we can kind of go through it. Here's my testing points. Get my meter. All right, so what do we start? All of a sudden quit. So let's let's check. Power, power's coming on to F1, two, F1, FU1, FU2, FU3, right? I'm gonna check to ground, All right? So at one, two, Three. It looks like on FU1 at the top, it's coming from a disconnect circuit breaker, which should be this one. So let's flip it. I'm going to flip it back on and let's check it again. All right. So let's lock it out. All right. Now, One, let's see what our connection diagram says. So connection diagram says L1, 2, and 3 comes in on tops of TB1. So TB1, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, let's just check continuity. Shut up. From wire to wire. So it comes out the one, L1 to one to fuse one. And let's just check continuity. All right, as you can see, there's no continuity between here and here. So that means <clears throat> that there's either a bad connection from here to here, here or here to here. So let's take our screwdriver. Let's disconnect them. Ah, guess what? Tighten. So we know that that should be it. Actually, let's check our wire. So which one of those? TB1-1 is on the left. All right. And then we should be able to check right there. TB1-1, so look at that OL, right? All right, so it's no connection from there to there, which FU1-1 is going to right here, so that should be TB1-1. That wire is connected to that, so it looks to me that wire is bad. All right, so let me grab it. Oops, actually, look at that wire. 
how it's highlighted up here. Huh. Let me go back and let's, let's, let's take that and let's hook up on that wire. All right, so T1H1. T1H1. That's, that one's supposed to be going to the transformer, but it's obviously going to the terminal. So there's an issue with their wiring diagram here. All right, not happy about that. Whereas the other wires actually, as you can see, is going down to your transformer. Hmm. Okay, so it was just terminal needs to be tightened. There, be careful, you gotta watch this. And then you can see using your wrench, you can highlight the wire. Well, you can highlight the wire with your wrench and it'll show you where it's going. Whereas over here, that one going to the left is supposed to be going right here. Okay. All right, so we know that when we hit that terminal, it said Titan. So we're gonna go back and we're going to set everything, move lock, turn power on. All right, so it's still nothing, right? Did I leave? Yep, look at that. Look what I did. I left it disconnected. Oops. All right. Well, there it goes. So be careful. If you disconnect anything, make sure you reconnect it. Let's check up and down. Looks like that did it. So another terminal loose. All right, I got bonus. I'm still in bonus. How about that? Even taking all that sweet time. All right, let's do an advance now. The electric door won't close. All right. We'll close. All right, let's do this. I'm going to try this and we're going to manually close it. All right, engage it, remove lock. Let's see if it'll go up. Nothing. All right. I'm going to leave that on. I don't know why I shut it off. All right. Let's get our schematic. All right. Now we can get our meter. Start checking power. Shut up. 120 there, there, there. Now remember it's 208 three phase, but from 208 to ground on this type of system is gonna be 120 volts, not half of 208, okay? Let's check the top of our fuses. All right, now the bottom. All right. So we all our power there looks good. All right. Now let's check coming out of our transformer. All right. It's got 119.9, which should be good coming out. Let's check directly. It's probably gonna fuss at me. Nope. All right, directly across it looks good. All right, coming out of that through F F U4. One twenty. 
All right. Now we got to look at our connection diagram. So <clears throat> to get, let's check to see if we're getting power to our coil when we hit, well, let's do C2 since that's the down. Doesn't show anything to it. All right. So we're not getting power to that. All right. So let's open this guy. Sorry. All right, then we'll check the ground. All right. And now we're going to check going into our down button. We're not getting power there. So how about the stop button? Nothing there, nothing there. How about the overload? How about that overload? All right, which is between nine and 10. So nine, 120 coming out of it is zero. Look at that. So our overload was checked. Let's make sure nothing's bad. All right, so we're still, our overload is tripping. All right, let's take a look. Oh, shut up. And let's, uh, all right, check amperage. Check down. Ooh. You see that on the down? So this trying to run down, it ran a real high amperage. All right. All right, let's take a look at something. There may be a short somewhere. And let's lock out. And I want to manually pull it down and see if we can still run it up. Down won't run up well. But let's check our amperage on that too. Down to Right. So all right. So it's only on the reverse side. Or the uh, down side, which is in C two. So on the three phase is where it's tripping. So let's just do a check. Got to verify, double check it. All right. So let's check each leg. All 
All right, none of those show the short to ground. What about to each other? All right. 5.6 across, that's just across the uh, coil. All right, now let's check the prop, the hot side. Okay, so also we need to check our contacts. So if I got a bad contact in my contactor, which means one of them won't close, then I'll only have two hot legs going to my motor. So if I've got two hot legs, what they'll call that is single phasing a motor and it'll real, run real high current and the motor won't run right. So let's do that real quick. I'm gonna disconnect these three legs and then I'm gonna check crawl. Okay, one, check up. Here and then when I push the button, I should get zero. All right, I do. Let's check our next contact. Zero. And the next one. Okay, look what's going on there. So when I push it, this should go to zero, but it's staying OL. So what that tells me is my contact is bad and I'm single phasing my motor. So it won't let me change the contact, so I'll have to change the whole thing. All right, everything connect back up. All right, I'm gonna close it up. That was it. All right, so it was a contact on the contactor that rent drove up high current to my motor and it will, you never hear the motor run. It, typically you might hear it hum in the real world. You might hear motor hum. And if it's not running right or it's running the wrong direction very slowly, then what they call that a single phase of the motor. All right, done. And I did a little longer than normal. Um, probably should have found it earlier. All right. So those are my three this week. I'm going to post that up and uh, let y'all watch it. And just again, you've got to be able to understand, study the drawings, study the circuit, know how the circuit works. Um, and I tell you what, the motor circuit, it's going to take a lot of different uh, skills you got to understand you got to know that the motor's three phase you need to know that hey you can have one leg of that motor go bad you can have a wire go bad somewhere and single phase it so if it's running high current for that motor though you know put your meter if it's not running put your meter on it especially if it's tripping the overloads and then what you do is if it's running high current but it's not actually running then you know it's probably an open wire or open contact somewhere. So just pay attention to those. All right. All right. That's all I have. And I'll post this.